there's very few people in the world that would look at a barn and not feel something. And so if we lose our barns, for instance, what are we going to have visually outside of perhaps McDonald's or Burger King or things that you can find every place else in this country that would be unique to Kitsap County, you know? And I think our barns are relatively unique but we're getting fewer and fewer because as time goes by with our weather patterns that we have here and all the rain and the moisture and the winds we're losing more and more barns all the time. Well my grandparents Frank and Daisy Stottlemyer they moved here in 1914 and they lived in a tent for the first uh, I'm not even sure exactly how long but I'm guessing it was probably until that fall when the winter came in then they built a two-room shed and then sometime after that, and we think it's about 1922, is when they had enough finances uh, and they were uh, basically settled in enough to go ahead and build the barn. After 1922 and the barn was up, then they built the chicken house because in Kitsap County at that time, chickens were king. That is uh, the primary source of income for most people in Kitsap County, with the exception of the shipyard, which was young at that point in time, was farming and raising chickens. Well, I think it's really a, a very large visual sign of where we have come from. Uh, what are we if we don't think and if we don't understand and appreciate those that came before us? And at this point in time, I believe there's like 410 or 420 barns on the historic register, but only six from Kitsap County. So if there's a way that we can get information out to more people in Kitsap County, perhaps more people will apply for this register and maybe we'll be able to preserve and save the barn structures in the county a lot longer than we would otherwise.